Good morning everyone, welcome to the vlog. Right now at the moment I'm shipping out some items. It is about 10 to 10 and then after I do that I'm going to go to the post office, drop them off and then I'm going to head out for a couple of days. I'm going to go thrifting for a couple of days out to Geelong and, and around that area, sort of far east of Melbourne. So I'm just dedicating a couple of days to getting a bit of work done in that respect. But at the moment I'm shipping out some stuff. Let me show you the stuff that I'm shipping out. So I just sold a DVD, nothing special at all, just this one here. Then, for 30 bucks I sold this one, this jujitsu sort of kickboxing jacket, or G. Next, sold these women's Air Max Thea's for like 25 bucks, they have quite a bit of wear at the bottom. Then I sold this Jan Sport backpack, brand new without tags with the Galaxy print on it. That's all for about 22 bucks. I found a really good deal on these where I could potentially buy another 20 or 30 more. But I was just testing the waters to see how quickly these sold. Took a little while to sell, maybe a week or so. So I might go back and pick up the rest. Then the last item for like five bucks is this Country Road long sleeve slim fit navy blue button front shirt. Nothing special there at all. So I've hit the road, I am Heading to Footscray first off, there's a Savers in Footscray that I haven't hit up in a while and I'm going there to source for some Amazon stuff so that should be pretty cool and then I've got a heap of other thrifts that I've got planned for the rest of the day but it's going to be another work day, another thrift day but at the moment though I've got like an hour or so drive until the Savers So what I'm planning on doing before I head to this Savers is go to a $2 store because I want to see if I can get a chain so then I can lock my bike up I have a padlock and I just want to get a chain and just lock it up because I brought my bike with me. Let me show you that when I park the car. So we made it to Footscray. There is a Salvos on this road. I'm going to hit that up first and then go to the Savers after that. Guys, just like that, I just got out of that Salvos and I picked up four books. Looking at about 180 USD profit. Maybe not profit, but resale value there. So a good score. The one on the bottom here is 99 bucks. What a jackpot. I'm going back to the car to put these books back in and going back out to Savers. So I just went into the Savers there. I didn't find anything. It seems like the books they had in there were sort of older school textbooks and they didn't have any value. But I did bump into Alan. Shout out to you, Alan. Thanks for coming up to me. Alan came up to me and said hello. He watches the vlogs. So thanks for watching the vlogs, Alan. So I'm going to go to a few more thrifts, but Surly's up here as well. I've got to show you Surly. I brought the bike with me because I have plans to because I have plans to do some ride thrifts as well. Because we... I always like to do that here and there. So I'm just going to a Vinnie's, it's just up here. Just parked over here. I'm going to the Vinnie's here. I've never been to this one. For those of you around the Ascot Vale area, it's where I am. Let's see how we go in this one. On to the next. That was no good that one. I'm only looking for books. So, I saw some cool shoes in there, but I'm not going for anything like that. Just books today. Just books. Just books. So, I'm going to the next one. I don't know what the next one is, but I've got to look it up on the map. Guys, I've been in this thrift for like half an hour or so. I've got all these. But this place is huge. This op shop has everything. They have vintage bikes back there too. Sorry, the lighting's going to be off here. Guys, this was an absolutely insane score. This is Amazon FBA stuff. That op shop was huge. It was so big. It was only a cash only op shop as well. When I went to pay for all the books, I've got like seven books there that I that I brought. I was like, oh, do you take FPOS? And they're like, no. But it worked out to be $7 for seven books. It was a dollar a book. This is gonna amount to quite a lot of profit and it was quite a good score today. Let me show you the books that I got. So these are the books that I did get. The top two ones are brand new sealed. And they have some pretty good brand new prices on Amazon for those. And then the rest are used. However, these two here are new as well. They're sealed. But I'm selling those on eBay. A used version of this top book sold for 30 bucks. So I reckon I could get at least 50 bucks for both of them brand new at a really quick selling price. I'll have to look them up more and I might be able to sell them for more. But seven bucks for all of those. The lady come up to me. She's like, you know, they're all a dollar. There was heaps of textbooks there. Most of them were dud ones, not very good at all. But I found a few gems and I'm pretty excited. It was a pretty good haul from this op shop today. So to continue the story a bit further, I didn't have enough cash on me. I did have change though. I managed to have $6.05. So I ended up paying that much for all these books. She was like, just give me however much change you got because she reckons I didn't have enough time to get to the ATM. Just saw this guy's bit of a remembrance of Japan. 
they have some kind of gate entrance there and there's also a statue a buddha statue right there as well bit of japan in melbourne so it's hit five o'clock thrifting's done and dusted for today what i'm thinking of doing is finding a mac is i'm going to use their wi-fi get some work done i want to focus on getting those amazon products that i got today up and also that one ebay book that i'm selling on ebay up as well and while i do that i'm going to plan tomorrow get a list going for tomorrow's thrifts as well this trip is mainly a thrift trip i'll be working pretty hard the next couple of days just to try and make as much money as i can what i'm going to do is head into coles it's right here and get a few things i need like water and stuff i didn't drink any water today and i feel my lips getting pretty dry and then you get like toothpaste and other stuff like that so i'm heading into coles right now to do that all right guys so i made it to a macca's slash 7-eleven stop i'm gonna camp here tonight i parked the car here in one of these caravan bay things so it should be fine here tonight i like sort of sleeping at these places nice open wide space and also it's lit up as well there's like lights everywhere so then theft is very unlikely if everything's illuminated and i find it's a really cool location to set up camp for the night but i just got back i just got out of the coals in there and i got some stuff i'm gonna cook up some dinner feels like the japan tour again i'm cooking on the tranja i brought the tranja with me here it is and i also got the methylated spirits metho this stuff was five bucks and it was super easy to find compared to like in japan you had to go to pharmacy and stuff to get it but i managed to get this it's the coles brand stuff it is uh hopefully it works i don't know if it works and then for dinner what i'm gonna be cooking up is some packaged basmati rice and i also got to go with it i also got a beef and veg campbell's tin of soup like chunky soup so that together should be pretty good plus some bread as well can't go wrong so i'm gonna get that started now might have some maccas for dinner that looks nice I just realized I don't have anything to light this. I'm not a smoker, so I don't have a lighter or anything like that. I'm gonna have to go into the servo and get a lighter. Whoopsies. We got matches. To be honest, guys, I've missed having to buy some food from the grocery store and have to cook it up on the tranja. I'm enjoying this actually. I'm almost done. So I just went into the Maccas there. They actually have a shower in the toilet section and unfortunately I don't have a towel to dry myself so no shower tonight. But I'm heading into Maccas because I've got to get a video edited and uploaded and I'm also going to get this Amazon stuff done and I've got some cooking with Cody stuff that I need to get done as well. So I'm going to head on into Maccas and get all that stuff done. So I just edited the vlog. It was a pretty quick edit, like half an hour or so. But I'm going to test the internet here and see how fast it is because normally like my internet at home and the internet that I've experienced or used in Australia is pretty bad so compared to like places like Thailand and Japan and stuff pretty good session here in Mac is I managed to get the vlog uploaded but I'm unable to get my cooking one for my cooking channel uploaded because they don't have any power points here in this Mac is and I can't charge my laptop it's literally just about to go dead as you can see like right there it's on red, it's about to go dead. So I'm probably just gonna go back to the car and get a bit more work done under the car light inside. It's about eight o'clock, so I'm probably gonna go to bed soon as well. Get an early night, get some rest, and then we'll do the same tomorrow. We'll do some more thrifting. But that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and also drop a comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.